actually, it's nothing like that. Coming to bed, honey? Yes, dear. Alright, so what is it like working for the Air Force? So in this video, I'm going to talk about the good things about it. So first off, I want to be clear and tell you that I did not join the Air Force. I'm not part of the armed forces at all. I did not join the military. So you can still work for them, but you don't have to join the branch, technically. Instead of actually enlisting or becoming an officer into the Air Force or being like a civilian worker working for them, I'm just a contractor. So for example, they have money. They pay other people like me, a contractor, to work for them. So again, I did not join the armed forces. I'm not part of the military. I just work for them, just to be clear. All right, so with that out of the way, let's begin. So the first good thing about this job, about being an environmental engineer, working for the Air Force, is that you have pretty good job stability. So after all, we are working for the government. And usually government jobs are pretty stable. So long as the government is here and like the Air Force is here and that base, that location that I'm working at is still there, then I will always have a job. I will always, so long as I work, still be there. And it's different because I don't have to worry about being replaced by like a robot or an AI. In the end, it's almost like working in the medical field because robots, for example, they cannot replace human beings because they don't really have like feelings. They don't have to worry about human health. Like we humans, we care about the environment because it affects our health. Robots, on the other hand, they don't get affected. They're just up in the cloud somewhere. So for the most part, just having this job here at all times, like it feels good. I don't have to worry about being replaced or kicked out because so long as the environment's still there, so long as there's still problems basically with the environment and human health, then I'll be here. Next are like normal job benefits. So the benefits basically. You have things like health insurance, medical insurance, you know, vision, dental, all those normal things that they offer for basically every single employer. You have like the 401k retirement plan. It's cool for my job because I work on a military base. So as part of the military, you know, they have to care about physical fitness. So we have a gym there. It's not like a small little local gym that you'd see maybe in a hotel where you only have like one room, one treadmill, one dumbbell and everything. It's pretty big. It's almost like a whole LA fitness or like 24 hour fitness where they have rows of machines and like, you know, lots of treadmills, lots of open space to play with. You know, they have a basketball court. So I get all these perks and benefits as if I were working in the military. Another good benefit is that uh, it depends on your, your boss or your commander basically, but I'm not being micromanaged, so I'm free to do basically whatever I want. If I want to take lunch early, I can just do that. If I want to go to the gym during lunch period, I can do that. And I've had some coworkers who do that. And if you take a longer lunch because they're taking lunch and going to the gym. And people know this, so like the boss knows this. They sort of even encourage this. So it's nothing wrong at all. They already know what's happening. They know that they're, I guess, being taken advantage of, but like they don't really care. So I'm going to get the work done. Then, you know, they're free to do whatever they want. You know, that's the cool thing about having a chill work spot but it probably depends on every single base. It's just for my situation, my experience, it's been pretty chill. Next is that the Air Force is not really mentally or physically stressful or exhausting. If you have like different branches like the Marine Corps or the Army, you know, you're getting yelled at, for example, we don't have any of that. Like we're sitting in a nice air conditioned office. You can work out if you want to, like you have almost like unlimited lunch time. We're mostly just sitting in an office all day anyway. So we're pretty relaxed, if not getting pretty lazy. And we're just doing like paperwork. So some paperwork, for example, is just like maybe writing reports. You know, you're just like plugging and chugging some numbers into a computer program, click the button, and then it spits out some like report. So you're not doing anything physically demanding. You're not even using your brain too much. So overall, the workload is pretty easy. It's like easy to handle, not too stressful. No one's micromanaging you, so long as you set your own like guidelines and you know deadlines. Actually, it's a bit too easy, I should say. And lastly, it's that it's a pretty good stepping stone for if you ever want to like switch out careers in the future. So you're basically getting your foot in the door and like immediately on your resume it says environmental engineer for the Air Force. Like that's a pretty big branch. Everyone knows about the military. You know imagine working for like Apple or Google. You have a big brand name on your resume to show off basically. What's even better is that you have pretty powerful connections. So imagine you know you want to switch to a different field and they might ask for like a letter of recommendation or like a reference so you could put down like your boss who happens to be like a colonel or something so overall working for the air force or like the government in general pretty chill pretty easy pretty laid back you know you have all these good benefits but you sort of start to feel complacent and i'll start to 
do have some, you know, bad reasons in another video. But there's nothing you can really complain about. If anything, you can only complain if you're like really ambitious. So how would I rate this job? I would rate it an 8 out of 10. You know, it's, it's good. It's comfy. It's stable. But I only give it an 8 out of 10 because depending on your personality, it's not like the most fulfilling and the best job out there. But again, that's just my experience. So if you ever want to work for the military, or like the Air Force in my case, you don't have to join the military to work for them. And so that's the cool thing about it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I probably can't answer everything because I didn't join the military. Don't ask me about the military. I did not join, so don't ask me. I'm just trying to point out the good in working for them. Alright, so that's all I have for this video. Goodbye.